That way, that way. <laughs> oh there. How are you doing? Um bit of a strange one this week. Um I've been out on the Mighty AV Strom um doing some filming. I only did some filming because I got a new uh, mount for the helmet for the Gro GoPro GoPro for the GoPro. So I've just been out testing that really. So I've had a um a camera on the front of the helmet and a camera on the bars looking back at me. So I've just been out to try it. And um, this is what I filmed. Hope you enjoy it. Now, on a video like this, I would have expected the first thing to be how to fit the Pro Shot camera mount to your helmet yep good point um, I didn't do that because it took me all of 30 seconds all I did was peel the backing strip off a piece of velcro and then stick it to the helmet where it was supposed to be really easy and um, yeah the next day I took it out and did this video and it was solid as a rock well impressive man well impressive <laughs> The GoPro was right outside of the uh, the vent on my helmet, so I kind of thought that possibly I could be able to speak and the GoPro would pick it up. Um, it did, but it was really muffled and I couldn't hear anything. Uh, that was just me being tight, trying to avoid buying a microphone, really. <laughs> I might buy a microphone. They're a bit expensive, but I might. We'll see what happens. The wind noise seems a lot less obvious with the camera on the helmet. It, um, it's still there, but it's nothing like as bad as it was on the, um, on the bars. I think that's because the, when it was on the bars, it was being buffeted from the wind from the screen. Um, whereas on the helmet, uh, it's still being buffeted, um, but not quite as bad. Uh, again, if I, had a cam if I had a microphone on the inside of the helmet, it would probably do away with that. But they're expensive, man. They are expensive. When the camera was on the bars, um, it, you could still see how the bike was moving, you could see how it was leaning at the bends and that, but uh, with it on the helmet here, it's more dynamic, you can actually see the way I'm moving and you can see the way the bike's moving as well, um, so yeah, dynamic's a good word for it, it, it kind of makes the, the video look more real. Um, I like it, I think I need uh, to calm myself down a little bit, um, not do so much moving when I'm videoing. Or maybe it's just um, cut those bits what I'm doing here, didn't But yeah, I like it. It's more lifelike up here. I know this isn't the main road, but you can't get your suspension worked out here. Um, it's getting to the stage now where you need an adventure bike on any road in the UK. <laughs>
this shows how um, that dynamism, how much more dynamic the uh, the video camera on the helmet makes the ride scene. Yeah, I like it. isn't as bad it's not horrendous but it's still there it's still more than I would like um, I think my next port of call would be what's called a wind slayer um, I do have one of them basically it's just a bit of foam rubber that goes around the outside of the camera um, I've used it before on the bars and it wasn't terribly successful but if I use it um, on the helmet and I'll see what that's like it, uh, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than buying all the microphones and um, all that kit To tell the truth, I'm um, not really testing any cameras or any mounts or anything, I'm just having a really nice ride through the Cotswolds. <laughs> This is something I couldn't do with the camera on the bars. That's when I'm looking right, looking for traffic um, coming towards me. Um, you couldn't see that before when I, the camera was on the bars, but now our sight lines are the same. You can see exactly what I'm seeing. I like that. I'm kind of really happy with what's going on here. So the countryside and in town as well, I'm kind of liking the way that this uh, helmet cam picks up um, picks up the movement around um, people in the town or that crop in the town and um, in the countryside going past the fields and the woodland. It's, it's looking really good. I'm well happy with this. It felt like it didn't take long until the uh, batteries needed changing on both of the cameras. So I pulled into a layby and without having to dismount either camera, either the one from the helmet or from the bar, um, I changed the batteries really quickly. Um, the helmet mount was still really sturdily um, attached. It hadn't moved at all. It was absolutely perfect. So yeah, batteries changed. Let's go.
I guess I should mention how much these things are, shouldn't I? Um, I bought it from the website, the Pro Shop website, and um, at the minute they're going for $32.99. Uh, of course, there's shipping on top of that as well. Um, but to be fair, the shipping and the tax and all that kind of stuff, it's pretty much the same as buying stuff from Europe these days, so that's not a problem really. And um, the Pro Shot system, there's actually a new one that they're designing and selling now um, for a different size of helmets. Um, looks to be much, much the same. learned some lessons today by doing that one of the things I've learned is not to move my head around so fast because uh, it makes the footage all jerky um, but yeah hope you enjoyed it uh, like I say something a bit different if you did enjoy it can you give us a thumbs up do the subscribe leave a comment if you would be so kind and I'll catch you all next time yeah take care guys bye bye